Have you ever wondered how to set your menu pricing in your restaurant? Have you fallen into being a victim of the experts that have TV shows and say it's a three times markup? Because it's wrong. I'm going to share you the answer in just two seconds. Hello, this is Dave Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com. I get it. You see, these experts have TV shows. Don't get me wrong. I want a TV show. I'd have a blast, man. But I wouldn't feed you with things that aren't true. And one of those things is, and I'm telling you, I think they've all done it. I watch all the shows. Three times markup on your food. Are you kidding me? When we start thinking about prime costs, making a 55% or below prime cost, total cost of goods sold plus total labor, including taxes, benefits, insurance, you couldn't be running a 35% food cost in most places because your labor is going so high. We are gonna to have to be in the low 20s. Sure, there are some states that are still tip credit and you get, get by with that. But then the other part is, even if that were the case, it doesn't mean you price every item at 35%. You couldn't sell some of them. They'd be too damn expensive. That's not how we do it. So the number one thing you do is analyze your menu mix. What that requires is up-to-date, accurate recipe costing cards. When I have every item costed out, I know what I sell it for and how many I sold of each item from my point of sale system through a velocity report, PLE report, uh, item by item sales mix report. How many everything did I sell during a period? Well, by multiplying all those out, I'll have items that have a 5% cost of goods sold and those that have a 38% cost of goods sold. But because I sell the living hell out of the 5% item, meaning hand cut french fries, it drives my food cost down. So I may have some items at 38, but I've got some down all the way down to 5%. And so what happens is we can find our ideal food cost by having recipe costs and cards, what we sell it for, and everything we sold with all these different uh, percentages. We could come down and say, hey, our food cost is 35%. If there was no waste, no theft, no spoilage, perfect restaurant, which does not exist. But it could be 22%. If you want to find out where you are right now, it's all about balance. Basically, a weighted average, what your customers actually purchase. And you can't do that without... Having what? Recipe costing cards. Now when I have the recipe cards, if we say I want to set my prices, I'm going to look at a couple things. The market I'm in and positioning. So the market, there are certain items you can't charge enough for. And so let's say it's an anchor appetizer out of a box, frozen into a fryer at a 38% food cost. You said, oh, I want 35 as my target. Well, if I raise the price, nobody will buy it because I'm pricing myself out of the market. So. Because I know menu mix, the first topic, I know that I can sell those, I don't sell many of them, I can reduce the price, have a higher cost of goods sold, but because I sell the hell out of those french fries, it's no big deal. I can still have a 35 or lower percent food cost for my whole menu. Then the positioning part is where are you? Do you want to undercut everybody in pricing, be the chief dive bar in your restaurant, a restaurant area, right? right be, I'm undercutting everybody. And, and we're hopefully being the Taco Bell of the independent restaurant world where we've got so many people coming in, we'll make a few pennies on each person and we'll make a lot of money eventually. That usually doesn't happen for us. Next is price like everybody else. If all the chain restaurants are charging $12 for a hamburger, why shouldn't you? Why should you say, oh, we're gonna only charge $8.99? I can't charge that. Well, bullshit. Tell me you won't charge that. That's really the issue. And oh, by the way, you have a better quality product. You probably have uh, two ounces more on the plate. You name it, we're a better value at any price. So let's charge at least what everybody else, so I can either undercut or charge like everybody, or position myself as the damn best in the market. We have such incredible service. We have just incredible product. We have an incredible ambiance. We give you an incredible hospitality experience that you're gonna pay more for it. Instead of the $12 burger, we're charging 15. See, it doesn't matter where you place yourself. If you don't have great product and you don't have great service, it's too expensive at any price. But you decide. What does it require? Accurate up-to-date recipe costs and cards. Analyzing your menu mix understanding the market you're in and where you're positioning yourself. Below, just like everybody, or above. Look, if you'd like help knowing where you should be 
or finding more money in your business on the same sales you're doing right now, give us a call toll free at 1-877-457-6278 at extension 106. Ask for Greg Sauerbach, our solutions coach, and he'll happily help answer any questions you have and show you how our solution, Smart Systems Pro, will help you do all these things. This is David Scott Peters. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure and subscribe now to my YouTube channel. But before you go, download my free report. You'll find the link below in the description section. And be sure not to miss these other videos with expert tips to help you run your restaurant.